Hey everyone, it's Matthew Reinhardt and welcome back to art class. Here we are, we're here again. It's hard being inside all the time, isn't it? Ugh. There could be worse things, right? We all have to just do our little part, right? Um, so my part today, we're gonna make, we're gonna make another art project. Let's do it, yeah. Making art is fun. Making art is fun. Dancing around is fun when no one's looking. Yeah, here's the stuff you need. We need crayons. Okay, you definitely need crayons for this. Um, and we need, let's see what else. Ooh, we need paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna color uh, with crayons onto a piece of cardstock, and then we're going to paint over it using some paint and with a little teeny bit of soap in it. So you need some black, um, poster paint or tempura paint um, and you'll need just a couple drops of um, dish soap. You'll need a brush of some sort. You don't have to have a foam brush like this. You can use another kind of brush but a brush. Um, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard and since we all have so many boxes coming from I wonder where Amazon um, piece of a box for cardboard. That's going to be our backing. Um, we need one piece of cardstock or thick paper that you can color on. All right, so this would be a little thick, and I would prefer, you can use white um, if you want, or you can use another color. Uh, let's see what else do we need. Hmm, where's that other stuff? Oh, well, if you have like a skewer, a wooden skewer like this, this would be great, especially one with a point. That would work. Or you could use a, a paper clip that you undo and you're gonna use the edge. You're gonna use that for later on. Um, let's see, oh, we need some masking tapes. Masking tape. So these are all the things I think we remembered all the tools. Yes, should we get started? Let's go. All right, first, we're gonna take this lovely piece of cardstock and we are going to tape it to the cardboard. And you'll notice that the cardboard, you need to make sure that the cardboard is a little bigger than your cardstock. Okay? I could do it either way. Should I do it this way? Let's see. Which way looks better? Oh, I like it that way. So I turn it that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my masking tape here. And I'm going to just tape the edges down. You don't have to tape it real hard. Just want to make sure that we tape it down completely. So we're going to frame our uh, cardstock with uh, masking tape, right? Like that. You know I love using. All right. Do you need time to catch up? All right. Now this is the fun part. We get to we get to be a little creative here. We are going to cover the 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 cardstock with crayon, and we're just gonna paint, we're gonna, well, paint? You mean we're gonna draw, we're gonna color it. We're gonna color in all kinds of um, different colors to fill the entire piece. And what I want you to do is I want you to color really hard. I want you to color really hard and color it. Don't leave any white left in the paper that's exposed, okay? So use any colors you want, make any pattern you want. You could make lines and make lots of lines. You could make swirls. You could make round things. You could make sections. You could make circles. You could make, you could do it in, in um, squares. You could do whatever you want, whatever pattern you want, whatever colors you want, as long as you cover the entire piece of cardstock that's exposed. You're gonna fill it with different colors and you're gonna make sure that you color it in entirely and um, there's no white spaces left. All right, so this is the time to get a little creative and um, let's get started now. There we go, look at that. That is how I decided to color my um, sheet, but you can do it any way you want. Oh, do you need time to catch up? You need time? Why don't you take a catch up break and fill in that sheet? Takes a while. So enjoy it, it's really fun. Did you catch up? Awesome. All right, here's the next step. So we've got everything colored and you can see um, it's, it's pretty heavily, I used a lot, I 
colored really hard on there and tried to fill it. And these are the colors I chose to put in there. Are we ready for the next part? Let's do it. Okay, let's put away our crayons because we don't need those anymore. We don't need the tape anymore. Let's see, what we do need, we need our paint. And we need just a couple drops, just a couple drops. Let's make sure I do this right. One, two, oh, that's enough. And then we've got to mix it. Mm, what should we use? Ooh, here's my skewer. I'm just going to do this. You need a little something to mix it up with. There. I don't need that, the whole thing. I'm going to mix up my paint. Do, 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 do. Mix in the paint with a little soap in it. Yep, got to mix some soap in it. Soaping it and mixing it and soaping it and mixing it. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to take our paint that has a little bit of soap in it, and we're going to take our picture, and oh, soap, we don't need you anymore. Thank you, though. Thank you, Mr. Soap. You're welcome. All right, we're going to use this, this paint, and we're going to put a little on our brush, and we're going to paint over. Oh, no, don't do that. No, that's what we want to do. We're going to paint over the crayon. You want to make sure it's kind of... You know, it covers it. See how I'm doing that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, this is fun. I never get to paint with you all. This is fun. This is a fun project. Now, when you made your crayon thing, your, your crayon part, it sometimes takes a while. It could take up to 20 minutes to do it really right. And it's okay if it takes that long. We're not in a rush. We want to have fun. We want our art project to look good, right? So sometimes you have to take your time and, it, and, and, and just enjoy coloring it in because that's the fun part. I think it's fun. Well, the next part's going to be fun too. So I'm just going to cover this as much as I can. <laughs> God, I, never get to, I never get to make this kind of art with everyone. This is fun. And I'm real careful. Mm-hmm. And la da 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just spread it around. Make sure it's good and spread. Cover up our picture. All right. Now, there we go. It's covered up. We're done with our paint. Now we're going to go, I'm going to go wash my, my fingers. See, look, I got paint on me. Um, I'm going to go wash this brush so I can use it again later. Um, but we have to let this dry. So let's let it dry. You got to let it dry. It's going to take a little while. got to have some patience. Here, I'll blow on it. No, that's not enough. That's not enough. I gotta let it dry. So it's gonna take a little time. So um, let's take a break and we'll come right back. Ooh, ooh. Is it dry? No, no, it's still not dry. Mm, gotta be patient. Okay, let it dry. Just, just let it dry. Just, just do something else. Now that this is all dry, we're going to use our skewer. Now this is a, just a wooden, or you could use a wooden dowel that's been, um, that's been sharpened. You could do that. You just need to make sure the edge is pretty sharp. You know, it's kind of, not like, so it'll be, ow. No, it's not that sharp. But you just need to make sure it's a little sharp. And you don't use a pencil. You could use also a, um, like I said, an, uh, a, uh, a paper clip that you un, you know, you uncoil and use the edge to, to make your drawing. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're going to start, now that this is dry, let's pull in. Let's get in there closer. Now we can scratch away. That's why it's called scratch, scratch art. Now we can scratch away some of the paint. And look, color shows up. Isn't that cool? So now we can start designing something. I don't know what this is going to be. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What am I gonna design? I don't know. But now we can draw using this dowel or the edge of our, our paper clip or whatever, and we can scratch into the black and then we'll get lots of really rainbow colors. So you can scratch any picture you'd like into this. And take your time. It might take a while. It might take me, 
Oh, I don't know. It might be taking a little while to get this done, but let, maybe I'll just start doing it right now. Hey, wow, that was really fun. I love doing that. Now it takes a little time, so if you need a catch-up break, be sure and be sure and take a catch-up break and, and take your time scratching your drawing in. Let's see if we can see it. See, ooh, that looks pretty cool. So what I did was I used the sharp edge of a dowel, or um, you can use like the, the really you could use like the edge of a, a paper clip or whatever, you know, the pointed um, end of a paper clip to scrape it in because you need to scrape it in but you can use different see sometimes I did real skinny lines sometimes I did fat ones sometimes I would scratch out the whole inside of a shape so there's an octopus I, because like I'm really let's see if we can see this oh it's nice I bet you, you could see this really well with black lights Ooh, that would be good but um so I scratched in my own scene underwater scene boy I wish I wish I was at the aquarium right now instead of in my kitchen. But this is just as great. This is fun. So, okay. So, we've made our very own scratch art. We scratched it in um, into the paint. And we can see all of our um, uh, really cool uh, crayon colors and, and patterns underneath. So you can make one shape if you want. You don't have to make a scene like this. You could make like one shape if you wanted to. Like if you just liked, uh, I don't know, like let's say you like a unicorn. You could just make one big unicorn and, and scratch out the entire shape of that. You could, you could make um, anything you want. You could put your name, whatever you want to do. Now, I'm seeing now that there are certain areas that are better than others. And where I didn't paint, see, sometimes I make mistakes, right? I make mistakes just as much as everybody else. I make them all the time. They should actually call you, call me Mr. Mr. Matthew Mistake Reinhardt because I make lots of mistakes. Um, but I think that the better areas of the scratching were a little bit thicker paint. So make sure, remember, when you paint on the black paint, use a little bit, a few drops of um, dish soap. Um, and also, don't be afraid to lay it on thick. Uh, but you have to make sure that your paint dries. So this was a fun, this is a fun art project, everybody. I, I'm glad we got to do something different. I think we're going to do some more things besides just always doing the same old, you know, we're not just going to do pop-up stuff. We're going to do all kinds of other, and paper craft stuff. We're going to do some other stuff along the way too. I hope you enjoyed this craft and I hope you enjoyed art class today. I'm so glad to see you all and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Say, stay healthy and stay kind to everybody, all right? Bye, art class. Bye, students. I love you.